Hey, hey guys, so today we are going to go over a Schlage A-Series lock. Now in some of my past videos I've done time trials with these, but I don't think I've ever gone through and slowly taken one apart and putting it back together. So I'm going to do that now with two different views. I don't know which one I'm going to use yet, but we'll see. So with the Schlage A-Series, which is a cylindrical lock, pretty expensive locks, not really seen in general use now but it was very common on houses from the 70s to the 90s and so you to do this if you are unable to if you don't have the key to turn the key and press the retainer in to slip the knob off you have to either pick it or you can take the lock apart which is what we're talking about here so on the inside and we're going to assume this is mounted on a door, so you would push in on the spring-loaded mechanism and slip the knob off. And then you would... Lose your screwdriver. Oh, it's over here. So, if it's on the door again, you can either press in on this spring-loaded mechanism or you can stick your screwdriver in the notch which should be right in line with that and when you twist it a little bit be careful not to damage the door but you should be able to get it to pop apart like that which will expose the screws holding it on you unscrew the two screws and then slip the lock out of the door. All right. Sometimes you'll have one cotter pin and you'll have two cotter pins. This one's either missing one or it just didn't have one from the factory. I've seen them both ways. So on this one, since we just have one, we're gonna fold it closed, put our screwdriver in there and pull it out. Now, if you're unfamiliar with a lock, always put the parts out and the order that you're taking it apart so you put it back together right if your other pen was in there it'd be in the other side and when I'm putting it back together I will show you something pertaining to that so this will only move up just a little bit so move it up as far as it'll go twist it and then remove the rest of the way set that aside and then you'll be faced with this plate on this plate there's four areas that have to snap into and also in this lock are your two springs now these springs if you're unfamiliar with this lock once we pop this plate off those springs are allowed to fly wherever so whenever i'm taking these apart i have my hand or my fingers in some way covering those springs and you stick any sharp pointed object into one of these holes and just lever the plate up. Remember your springs. Once you get the plate off, your teeth will angle, or your, your latch retractor, angle it all up and out. And here we see the lock come to pieces, which at this point it's go or no go. You got your two springs that go into these cups right here. They just free float. And intersect with the little nibs on that. So that is how that works. If your mechanism happens to come out, you'll see there's three pieces there. So your open slot's always going to be facing down, and that open slot is what this engages with. So if this does come apart, one side of this has a little leg, 
a little lag would go through into that area right there and then your cups would drop down like that so if you do this carefully enough you can lay the whole mechanism down without any of that coming apart okay if this comes off you just this part should not come out so if this comes off you would just put it in turn it until it's underneath this protrusion it through, turn the flat side of this plate towards the teeth, and the protrusion there is what pushes on that retractor mechanism. So going back together, it would go back together just like this. So if you carefully set it aside, it should stay relatively whole. At that point, you reach down in here. Now this is for an entrance lock. If it's storeroom, it's going to have a little bit different mechanism here. You lift this out. It's always a good idea to clean this. Goo, old Schlage goo, off and re-lubricate it before it goes back on the door. A lot of times that goo will harden up and make the lock not work well. Another area to focus on when you're doing it is right here. Okay, so now we're at the point to get to the cylinder. Okay, if we see down in there, we're going to be seeing the back of the cylinder. And the retainer pin. So what we're doing with the tweezers, there are tools that are made, this is a Schlage tool, that's made to slip over the tailpiece and press down on the pin and let you turn and turn it. But I've never found it to work well because you have to press that pin down past the, the deep point, past the surface to be able to turn that. And it is, that's a strong spring in there. So I very rarely have luck with that tool. So what I do do is look down in there and reach down with tweezers and push the pin and turn it. Now you can use you can use a pick for this. Just want to make sure we're in the camera. I am going to light this up a little bit more, so I'm not going to talk, but you can watch what I'm doing. stop for a minute and talk about tight caps because of how tight that cap is sometimes you do have to push it down on the ground or on the surface of your bench because it can be on there fairly tight sometimes now this tool does come in handy in that you can Push it down, get your spring loaded, see if you can feel it 
The problem is obviously the sight. You can't see down in there when you're when you're messing with this. Okay. Now I got lucky with that one. I got lucky in that it turned. You can see that it pushed the pin down enough to get the tailpiece to turn. And at that point, we push in on the retainer here and slip our knob off, which gives us access to the cylinder. So what I was doing in there, if that wouldn't have worked, you basically have to come over to this. You basically have to push in and twist. Push in, twist. Push in, twist. If you get lucky, you can get it stuck in a position where you're able to just turn without pushing. But sometimes you gotta go just notch by notch. And it should only take a minute or so. And at one point you'll get it so that it's loose enough and if you hold the lock like this upside down, which lets gravity pull this down, you can reach in there and push and turn it. To and see, I was able to push it and get that to turn, which lets us release it. So once you get the knob or the cylinder out, you can go ahead and rebuild the lock immediately. And this mechanism turns the other side of the latch retractor. Now, put your assemble your mechanism here. This is kind of a balance job. So I hold it vertically like that. And you have to get this post into that hole while you're doing the springs. So uh, notch it there. And kind of push that in. If you do it just right, everything will fall into place, and then you push down on that plate and it should snap back together. Make sure your springs are, sorry about that siren, make sure your springs are engaged correctly. Make sure that it turns from both sides. And be careful if the, uh, you see, the, okay, that's a good, that's actually a good point. You gotta be careful with that because this holds that steady. So, you might want to go ahead and just put this on first before you do that. So slide it on, off center, turn it, and then drop it the rest of the way. And this one only had the one, but I'm gonna. If you had two, when you put this one on, you don't want the long side of the leg to be on this side because when you put it together. the leg will poke out and interfere with the latch. So that is something you need to watch out for. Oh, you get the idea. If this pokes through, it just doesn't want to at all. Push in push it through, and then bend it out. If it was on this side, there we go. And you bend it out, you can see it It goes right where that latch, I don't have a latch here, I'll do. It might interfere with how that latch goes in. So always try to do your short leg on the other side so you don't have that issue. And it won't extend past where it needs to. So that is it. You've got your access to your cylinder. And
then you can unscrew it the rest of the way and shim it and make you a key and reassemble it. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching again, and y'all have a good day.